Hello everyone. Today we will have a fitting. Why uh, we will have a fitting of night cheesecakes. I'm already holding the first one. Now I'm trying it on. Let's see how it will look. So I tried on the first cheesecake. It's black. There aren't any here. But there are a lot of additional elements. Just a big black bow here and also this is a shirt with ties on the back. It is on the back of the neck. It is tied with black wide ribbons. It turns out to be one more bow. And basically we have made simple and transparent, transparent fabrics. That is a fine, fine mesh. The only thing I already see here is a marriage. Someone disappeared into this line or it was already like this, which in any case is sad because that I'm pretty pleased with it. I liked it, but I won't wear it because it's defective. Otherwise, we have something pretty good. The lower calf is processed. It's processed here with it. It's just the fabric that's hanging with such a small stitch. Just like with black thread and the color of the fabric of the shirt, the bra area is made like under a swimsuit. There are probably no cups here or something else just like this. Two, just two AA, two pieces of fabric, so to speak. I don't know what to call it correctly. And in general, I like how it looks, except that there is a small hole on the side, but I think you can try to sew it up, try to fix it, and everything will be fine, everything will be fine. Quite a short shirt, that is. It's either designed smaller than mine, or it's supposed to sit like that. I already feel very, very cold in it, so only a miner should even walk around the house and such things. I think either it's just the warm season of the year, they're full and accordingly. The houses are also warm because you will certainly freeze in such things if you walk around in them at home. For example, it's very cold now. My feet are very cold and maybe I could get sick. So I don't advise you to walk around the house in such things if you are cold. A black transparent nightie, an embodiment of allure and sophistication, transcends the realm of sleepwear, transforming the act of getting ready for bed into a ritual of elegance. The midnight black hue, draped in transparency, casts a seductive spell, reminiscent of moonlit shadows. This color, a timeless symbol of mystery and sophistication, adds an air of intrigue to the nighty, elevating it beyond mere bedtime attire to a statement of personal style. And now I will translate the following words in the next line. By the way, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. And so I changed into the next shirt. It's already more interesting than the previous one. There are two parts. There are not two the same colors, but there are cutouts on the sides on one and on the other side. They are made of lace. I forgot what this word with large flowers is called in its lace. The rest of both the front and back are made of. This is the kind of fabric I don't remember what it's called either, but that doesn't matter. It's shiny. It flows right over the body. It fits very interestingly. It's incredibly pleasant to the touch if I just hold it in my hand, and also if it's applied to the body. It's very comfortable very convenient. From the back, it's this thing is combined into one part and goes to the neck, then to the bra area. And the musician himself also made it from lace, also from black. I like the overall combination of black and something like this, probably, or it's dark burgundy. It looks very beautiful in a nighty like this. I really enjoyed walking around the house. I don't really like the look of it. I also really like it how it fits on me. I would probably also add some kind of transparent robe here, also in black or burgundy, most likely even burgundy, to highlight this very nice, very beautiful fabric. There are no holes, no protruding threads, very well sewn. I really, really like how it looks on me. It seems to me that it suits my figure. And again, I would like I was happy to wear such things at home. And overall, I rate this line 10 out of 10. I really like now, now. This intimate garment embraces the art of seduction, combining the boldness of red with the delicacy of transparency to create a mesmerizing ensemble that blurs the line between sensuality and sophistication. The fiery hue of red, synonymous with desire and fervor, transforms the nighty into a statement of confidence and self-expression. The design of the nighty, often adorned with lace or intricate detailing, further elevates its aesthetic appeal. These embellishments, strategically placed, 
add a touch of femininity and romance, turning the nighty into a garment that celebrates the beauty of the wearer. The interplay of red and transparency creates a visual symphony that is as captivating as it is elegant. I also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and write comments. You can also watch the previous fitting videos and we move on to the next one. And so I changed into the third shirt. It looked like this. I really like the style of it. I made it like here in this kind of openness. So let's say at the same time, it flows very beautifully. It sits very beautifully. I think in order to wear such things, it needs to be ironed very well because you can see that it wrinkles very much and it's not very good, it looks beautiful. But it was necessary to come up with something earlier. The main thing is that it looked neat. It is similar to one of my previous examples. There was a similar cheesecake, only it was in burgundy color and in white it also looks very good here and the fabric is assembled along the seams and it creates such an effect that everything flows very beautifully lies on the skin. I really like it too. Here there is such a small white bow and the zone, the bra zone, is made of lace is very beautiful. It looks so gentle for some reason. Some wedding images immediately pop up in my head. I don't know, maybe such a nighty would be suitable not to take Ilya to her wedding night. Or yeah, it looks very beautiful. It looks very cute. It's very neat. It's as if the fabric is felt like airy because it is very, very light. I don't really like it. I would probably wear a nighty like this. Oh, for example, at home before going to bed for me. I would sleep in such things with pleasure in general. She is very beautiful on the back. There is also a big one. The choice of pristine white for the nighty creates an air of purity and simplicity. It serves as a blank canvas that, when paired with transparency, allows the wearer to be adorned by a gentle luminosity, reminiscent of moonbeams filtering through a sheer veil. This celestial quality evokes a sense of tranquility, casting a soft and serene ambiance. The garment gracefully drapes over the body, allowing for fluid movement and a gentle embrace. This effortless flow transforms the nighty into more than just sleepwear. It becomes a symbol of embracing comfort without sacrificing style. Pairing the nighty with delicate accessories or allowing it to stand alone, it becomes a versatile piece that can be as understated or as captivating as desired. Ultimately, the white transparent nighty becomes a radiant canvas upon which one can paint the poetry of their own beauty and embrace the enchantment of the night. We are feeling there is a large neckline, the straps on the back cross cross on the neck also tied, just tied. And now we move on to the last one. And so I tried on the last shirt from my fitting today and I like it the most because firstly it is dark and I really like the fitted style. There are also some decorative elements in the form of such beads in the center. In addition to this, the bra zone is connected by such lacing. This is how it all looks. It looks very beautiful. I also really like that it's fitted and has a loose fit. It's very feminine. It's very beautiful. It's not see-through. It's not see-through. It just looks like this. It's very nice, like the shiny fabric on the previous shirt. It's crazy. It's incredibly comfortable. It's very nice to fit on the body. It doesn't puff up. It doesn't restrict movement. I'm very, it's comfortable to walk in this, and it's very comfortable, the feeling of this fabric. I also really like that the lower part is made as if there are sunskirts, and this also looks like it's a sunskirt. Because for example, here it's a little protruding, so let's say, haha, I don't know what else to call it, and the folds are all very beautiful. They look here on the back. There is also a large, deep neckline. At least I can feel it and there is also lacing that connects actually all the parts of this cheesecake. I really, really like it. Very beautiful. It looks very feminine. The transparent nature of the fabric introduces an element of subtle revelation, allowing the contours of the body to be hinted at rather than fully exposed. This artful play between concealing and revealing creates a delicate dance that adds a layer of mystery and allure, inviting the imagination to roam freely, the design of the nighty. Often adorned with lace or intricate detailing, adds a touch of femininity to the ensemble. The lace, delicately woven like a midnight garden, creates patterns that evoke both delicacy and passion. Wearing a black transparent nighty is a celebration of self-confidence and intimacy. It is a garment that transcends the boundaries of mere sleepwear, becoming a vessel for self-expression and empowerment. The act of donning such a piece is a personal ritual, a way of acknowledging and embracing one's sensuality. I would be crazy happy to wear such things at home. 
I would sleep in it or something else I don't know I would brew. I'll probably have some tea there. After that I changed into regular everyday clothes and that's where my try on of cheesecakes ended for now by. <laughs>